Hello guys and welcome to a new Minecraft Redstone tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how a matrix works and what a matrix is. Um, a little bit how to build it but I'm not going to make it a building tutorial how to build of it because you probably can see how it works by yourself and how you can build it. So, a matrix is to, well, to, to make it simple is to uh, to divide your inputs into your outputs, uh, sort of. Um, so, for example, if I want to have this thing display things I want, so for example, I want to have the first one to be displayed, displayed, and the first one will be displayed, and I want two to be displayed, and for example, I want everything full on. Want to be explained. How do you do this? This is something you can very simply do with a matrix. The first thing I have to tell you is um, use my simple input method and use color coding. Then you're halfway done. So let's click on to how the matrix itself works. So here you see the matrix that I used in the device I just showed you. It's just a showing device, it's not really something special or something. Um, but, you got all the inputs, and you want to make some of them to be the outputs. Um, every one of those lines on the upper uh, section um, is one pixel. Um, you see this screen here, I want to make um, a extremely big matrix there, to be able to make pictures but all right um yeah sorry um one of those lines is one pixel so you got five one two three four five lines the most left line is the most left pixel you don't have to do this you can if you want make this line to be the uh, most right pixel but i think that was the most easy to show you um every line is a different color and the first thing i want to tell uh, for to show you is uh, for example i want to have Um, the middle thing, the middle free arm. So this is my output, my input I mean. It goes in here, if this line is just here and it's on or off, it won't be doing anything with the line above. But if you put a, a block with a redstone torch beneath it, it will do something. So um, uh, this means um, you want everything on this side to be inverted. Uh, it should be always on. So this is off. Your redstone torch is off if everything always is on. And the line is off. And your pixels won't be showing. In this case, um, you got it, this line is got off because you pushed the lever down. And this one, this, this um, torch has gone on. So this line has gone on. And the pixel on this line has gone on. That's that pixel there. And the same with this line and this line. But beneath this line, there won't be one of those. And beneath this line, there won't one of be one of those either. Um, you do have to think about uh, repeaters. Um, because if you want to make a redstone current flow through a block, you or you want a repeater in front of it, or you want to a repeater on the other side of it. So in this case, it's in front. This thing will pick it up. And then it will go through here and this repeater will pick it up. You, If you put a redstone dot here, nothing will happen with it. Um, second example, um, for for example, I want to, be, to have the first two lines to be on. So this one. Uh, that's this output. So this means the first two pixels, so the first two will be with this one. And as you see, first three, first four... And all full on first five. And here's the one. And, and that's just very simply how it works. Um, another thing you can build with this is this big display. You can make all kinds of displays with it. This display, this display. Just think about something you want to build. And you can, if it's with binary stuff, like with T flip flops, and if it's like with a display, always use this sort of matrix. Well, that's all what I gotta say to you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will. I will see you in another video. Um, so, see you back in another video, I guess, right?